Coming up? What? No! Come on! Looks like his supervillain plans to take over the world will have to wait another day. No, no! Now, I'm not sure if you guys at home have clued into this, but for a little while now, Dan and I have had this kind of inkling that Lucas may be a supervillain. Yeah, I think we've been suspecting <laughs> it for a while, but kind of waiting for confirmation. So anyway, here it is. Three, two, one, begin. Time's ticking. Oh, no, no! You will be annihilated. Why, come on, no! You will be annihilated. Over. Danielle Hopkins and Kyle Duffield are a creative force to be reckoned with. We've known each other for about 13 years. We were good friends, and years later we started working together. This Toronto duo is taking video games off the screen and putting you right in the action. So you walk into a room, you see a series of fences comprised of lasers. Your objective is to um, get through the lasers without the time running out and deactivate the system. Danielle, that was intense. Now, I've been gaming for a while, but that is a first for me. What did I just experience? You experienced the uh, laser-equipped annihilation protocol, or the LEAP engine for short. We wanted to make a full room immersive game where people could come in and feel the vibe of a space that is a game at the same time. We put the lasers on timers so that people could go through uh, without needing acrobatic skill. That's excellent because, as you saw, I do not have any acrobatic <laughs> skill whatsoever. I'm not exactly a limber tech guy. When you're playing the game, we wanted to feel like you're actually against some sort of nemesis. I will eviscerate you. We wanted to give it a personality so that it uh, touches the player in maybe a more, uh, a deeper level. What? No! Come on! No! So Kyle, the leap is incredibly rad, but I mean, how do you even take something like this from concept to reality? There's a lot of prototyping, there's a lot of trial and error, and often when you solve one problem, another one comes up. Um, we had a bit of assistance as well in developing some of the electronics. We have um, multiple lasers. They all work on independent channels, and this all connects to um, a centralized software that also controls sound, lighting, and the overall game. The experience that I had, it kind of feels almost like you're bringing gaming and a club vibe into the same space. And that's what we kind of want. Like, both are kind of fun um, spaces. People go, we're trying to make gaming a very social environment. This is the first time they've set up the Leap to take over an entire room. And getting all of the tech to work together has been no easy task. You know, one thing I didn't expect when I started playing was this sense of, of urgency. It's almost panic-inducing. Well, you have a timer that has pressure for you to get through to the other side. I think I'm going to do it this time, though. I'm not so sure. Come on, yeah, both of you know. now? Both of you? <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Challenge accepted. It's definitely not an easy game. Um, it, it is very much based on pattern recognition and memory um, and timing. Start the clock. Tick-tock, tick-tock. Are you even trying? What are you waiting for? Yes. Congratulations. Yes. You yes. win this time. The system worked flawlessly in the new space. We didn't think you'd make it, but you did okay. Yeah, you guys were definitely a pair <laughs> of doubters for sure. I felt that. It totally <laughs> proved you wrong. Totally blowing me away, though. I mean, you're bringing lasers, sound, and vibrations into this incredible, unique experience. Well, what's next for Leap? Well, currently, um, Leap is going to be open to the public in a beta phase, so when people can come in, they can play, and their feedback gets uh, put in to make the system better. Can I come back and play again? Let's get you in there right now. Right now? Yeah. <laughs> lasers up. I will destroy you. I can happily report that Lucas made it out alive. No annihilation today. And if you want to try your hand at that and see if you can best Lucas's time, the game is open to the public until the end of February. Head to our Twitter feed for a link. Let's see what else is going on a little further.